everyone, how you doing today? I'm Donna, this is Mary, and we went to Jersey Mike's, and we yes. got some sandwiches, and we're going to do a little uh, review of them for you. So, have you ever been to Jersey Mike's? They have really good sandwiches from what I hear. Mary gets them quite a bit, and she really likes them. So, um, I think that uh, I should like them too. First of all, they are a little expensive. They're like $10 a sandwich. Yeah, which is a little pricey because, um, well, this sandwich, it's not quite a, a foot long. And when you go to Subway, you get a foot long for $10. And this this is, is what the sandwich, sandwich looks sandwich like. Cut in half. This is the regular size. But look at all that meat that they give you. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, that is a lot of meat for yeah. sure. Definitely more than Subway. Subway always gives me like no meat. Like mm -hmm. they, yeah, some of them are really skimpy on the meat. Now, yeah. I um, habitually go to Stater Brothers and have them make me. Yeah, and I think that is a foot long, and it's probably eleven dollars. Yeah, um, and Sue and I can eat off of it twice. Yeah, it's a little bigger too because it's those are on a piece of like French bread. Yes, and these are more like hoagie sort of rolls and same thing with subway um but yeah the Stater brothers sandwiches are definitely the best for their price mm -hmm. they're good and um they're big so you can eat them for like a couple of days mm -hmm. and they're only ten dollars i think i think they're actually more like 12 or something like that but yeah, they're around 12. the ten dollar range and thinking of that compared to this it does seem better to get you know the Stater Brothers but I do think that like Jersey Mike's has kind of an uncomparable like taste to them mm -hmm. and um, that's what really makes them stand out yeah. is that I, I personally think they're better than Subway some might disagree well here is we forgot to plug the mic in but um, it's in now so hopefully you can hear us <laughs> yeah <laughs> but um yeah, Jersey Mike's, they freshly slice your turkey and your cheese right there in front of you, mm -hmm. which I think is really awesome because at, you know, at a lot of other sub places, they kind of just like throw it together mm -hmm. and, you know, give you the sandwich, but it's really cool to see them actually like slice your meat and I, I see them in the back cooking the bacon and everything just tastes and feels like really fresh. Mm -hmm. So I really like that about that aspect about Jersey Mike's and their bread is really good <laughs> very so what good did you get in your sandwich what kind of sandwich did you get mm. one second i'm sorry well mine's is turkey and swiss cheese with mayonnaise lettuce and tomato that's just the way i like my sandwiches so this isn't like one of their signature sandwiches yeah. i think you tend to get a signature one don't you yes so i get I kind of tweak it a little bit. I kind of do a little bit of a a life hack because I do go to Jersey Mike so often. Um, I get the club sub, which is the number eight, and that normally comes with turkey, ham, bacon, and provolone. But I'm I like ham, but I'm not the biggest fan of ham, so most of the time I will substitute the ham for extra turkey instead mm -hmm. and it actually turns out to be cheaper than if I were to get a turkey sandwich if I were to get the number seven which is turkey and provolone and add bacon it's more expensive than getting the club sub mm -hmm. um, and subbing out the ham mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I don't know I just kind of figured that out after uh -huh. going there for a while I think one of the managers has suggested it to me one day because I explained to them that I love their sandwiches so much mm -hmm. so um, that's what I get and I get it Mike's way I like the oil and vinegar um, Mike's way is basically like oil and vinegar salt and pepper oregano um, lettuce tomato onions and I think that's it. So I get, I don't get onions, but I get everything else Mike's way. And then I get uh, banana peppers on it. 
prefer I, I'm a real sour type of person so mm -hmm. I like the I like the sour taste of like pickles or banana peppers mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. like that so mm -hmm. that's what I get but I yeah I really love them I've only tried their hot sandwiches a few times though I would love to do a video where we try some hot sandwiches yeah um, I like pastrami uh -huh. and they had no they had one with sauerkraut which I don't know pastrami and sauerkraut but I'm sure that I mean, they're they seem pretty good about making you know what you what you want. Most sandwich places are they're just yeah. gonna make what you want. Yeah, they're pretty accommodating, I would say. Um, mm -hmm. But I have tried the chicken bacon ranch, I think it is, or buffalo bacon chicken, something like that, and it was really 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 good, like um, very good. And I've heard their Philly cheesesteaks are really good. Mm -hmm. I think they mostly like. Of course, they're all around sub place, but they're known for their Philly cheesesteaks, I'm pretty sure. So. Mm. Well, we'll have like to do that special tea. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll have to try some Philly cheesesteaks or maybe a chicken cheesesteak. Maybe. They have those too. So that's really cool. Uh, but yeah, they're pretty accommodating and they're usually really, really sweet. Every time I go in there, um, everybody's really kind and. Um, stuff like that so they have some good workers there as well or at least at the one that we go to mm -hmm. plus the one we go to is perfect because it's jersey mice and we're right next door is dutch bros i mean mm -hmm. that's like heaven you know mm -hmm. jersey mike's and dutch bro <laughs> right next to each other yeah um i do have to say that this uh, my husband has dementia and doesn't always eat real well and this is the one sandwich she usually gets close to finishing almost the whole thing. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, so anyway. <laughs> Sorry. This is um, the one sandwich. Um, <clears throat> he eats almost the whole thing. And I think one time he did eat the whole thing. Yeah. So, that's good. Cause usually... No, oh, tell him about the English muffin. Mm. Usually he um, he eats English muffins like pretty much every day. Mm -hmm. And um, that's like his favorite food. So sometimes he'll eat like a, a couple English muffins in a day mm -hmm. um, just so we can try to get him to eat and get that nutrients because mm -hmm. he is very picky. Mm -hmm. He'll only like eat his English muffins if we give him like something else he might not eat it but with jersey mike's he seems, he, to. he seems to really really like it i i actually think i have seen him finish a whole sandwich yeah. before yeah so. before he goes to bed what i've been doing is getting like a tupperware soup bowl and filling it with ice cream and him and i share it and if i feed it to him he eats pretty much half of it mm -hmm. i mean it's ice cream but there are some nutrients in ice cream and when you have someone with dementia you kind of got to feed them what they'll eat yeah so that's really cool that this has become like a a good option for him mm -hmm. you know and it's a good option for me i love them mm -hmm. i think they um i'm honestly a sandwich connoisseur i really really love sandwiches i like going to like little delis and and trying their sandwiches or like italian places a lot of my well, italian <coughs> places have some really good sandwiches that they make um so yeah, I, I but Jersey Mike's is always going to be one of my favorites, I think. My favorite kind of sandwich is on a uh, croissant. Uh -huh. uh, oh, I love love croissant sandwiches. They're uh -huh. so yummy. Um, so on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, 1 being the worst, what rating would you give it? Probably uh, nine. A nine. Just because ninety percent of the time, my sandwiches are amazing. Mm -hmm. But then I, sometimes I do have some off days where I'm like, mm, you okay. know, maybe I'll, it could be me, mm -hmm. or I could have just not been really in the mood for it that yeah, day. But yeah. you know, but most of the time, I'm very very satisfied with their service and with their food. So, yeah, I would give it a nine. Okay. What about you? I would give it an eight simply because of the price. Okay, okay. I see. Just because of the price being $10. Um, uh -huh. But the sandwich is good. There's nothing wrong with it. And like she said, they do put a good portion of meat in it. And um, 
Meat, of course, is more costly than lettuce and tomatoes. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, that is a really big plus, I think. Yeah, it really, yeah. these sandwiches fill me up. Mm -hmm. like, definitely, sure. definitely. I mean, sure. I could eat half of it. Mm -hmm. With like a Subway sandwich, every time I want to eat the whole foot long. Which I is think probably. The Subway <laughs> sandwich bread is like thinner. Mm hmm. Like like this maybe yeah it's more like a yeah so that's probably why mm -hmm. you, it's not as filling as because bread True. is very filling yeah mm -hmm. so we hope you like this video um the next time we do a jersey mice we're going to do the philly steak and pastrami yes so um we'll review those for you we hope you enjoyed this video if you found it a value give it a thumbs up and uh, make a positive comment. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. And if we can answer them, we will. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed, we'd love it if you subscribe to our channel. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.